Hey, what's going on guys? So uh, today we're taking a look at this brand new cooler. So this is an Igloo brand. It's a Trailmate Journey. It's a 70 quart. It's massive. It's huge. <laughs> so here's the story. Uh, my wife and I are doing some camping this summer. I'm super excited for it. We're doing a couple days. Um, and uh, I'm going to be using a ton of different gear. I'll probably do videos while we're camping, trying stuff out. And for years, you know, every time we go camping and stuff, we have coolers, but we have like hand-me-down, garage sale finds. They're all small. We use multiple smaller ones, which is just kind of stupid. So we've always kind of been in the market for just one bigger cooler. I wanted a Yeti back in the day, and they were just too damn expensive. And now that they're not made in the USA, it's even worse. I just would never spend the money. If someone gave one to me, I'm sure I'd love the hell out of it, but I just have no interest in buying it, right? So my wife's been doing a lot of research lately, um, seriously looking for a cooler so we can get something bigger for our camp trip. And uh, this was highly recommended, and she was keeping an eye on it. Now these are normally like $279.99, and that's a lot of money for a cooler. I mean, I guess it's all relevant for a large cooler like this, but um, I mean, it's half the price of like a Yeti. <clears throat> but there's a lot of competition. There's a lot of good coolers out there. And she kind of fell in love with this one, but has been looking at it on and off for about two weeks. And about a week ago or so, it just happened to be on sale for 200 bucks. It was like 199 and change. So we talked about it and we just bid the bullet. So here it is, it has a couple different colors. This is an awesome color. This happens to match our car pretty well. Uh, I drive a, uh, a RAV4 and we have the Lunar Rock. So if you happen to have a Toyota Lunar Rock, you'd know this color, it's pretty much the same. It's kind of like a grayish, greenish type color. But, uh, but yeah, this thing is awesome. And one of the reasons why we like this so much is because it so happens to be made in the USA. All right, so there it is, right there. So this is a 70 quart, you know, 112 cans, which we're not going to, uh, food and drinking here. It's got the bottle opener on the side, because you know, you know, every single multi-tool is missing that bottle opener. So if you don't have one on your, your EDC wallet or on your keys or on your other multi-tool or whatever. I mean, I'm making a joke, obviously. There's bottle openers everywhere, but there's one on the side here as well. <clears throat> so, pop this guy open. A nice little retaining cable here. This is cool, this tray on the inside. And I'll show you that in a second, actually. These handles pull out. There's a little trigger on the bottom to unlock it. So you can carry this, like, luggage style. But this, uh, this tray goes inside, on top of rather, the handle. So we have a little prep station here, some more cup holders, there's a ton on top. Um, there's a little compartment on the outside here, which is nice, we wanna throw your phone, keys, a couple things, got a rubberized piece. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's pretty, pretty straightforward. But yeah, I never had a cooler this large, so now we can literally just have everything there. Drains on the bottom, which is easy to get to. All right, there's a cable re retaining that as well on the cap. These are cool. These are removable fishing pole holders. All right, so that's what you do. You flip it across the driveway. <laughs> you don't have to have these on here, but if you didn't want to go fishing or something and drag the cooler down, it holds the poles, which is very nice. All right, or you can get creative and use that for something else, I suppose. Large wheels, which is really nice. All right, nice big stable bar. And that's pretty much it. I mean, it's a cooler. There's not all that much to talk about, I guess. All right? Little spot in the pocket, or spot in the pocket. Pocket in the front for uh, random stuff. Here's a little brochure. All right, you can see all the features there. So, and I'm still kind of learning about this myself. But yeah, I thought this was cool. Actually, these are still on sale on Igloo's website directly. Like I said, they're normally two. $279.99, and as of today, I checked again, even though the, the $199 sale is over, right now they're $250, and that little thing pops up, you know, like if you register with the site, you get an extra 10% off or something, so you're looking at about, what, $225-ish, so, yeah, I mean, if you're in the market for one, definitely worth uh, looking at, pretty cool, so, this will be easy to, I mean, this is pretty heavy, even empty. It's a very large cooler, but moves around very easy. There's actually a padded, like, foam cover on this. I didn't know that. I'm not too, I mean, it's super comfortable. It's just that that gets a cut in it. That's going to suck and be nasty for a long time. But, yeah, that's pretty much it. 
If you guys have uh, recommendations on different coolers, feel free to you know post down below. Anyone who's watching, maybe in the market for one. This is our first kind of large one, and uh, it's cool. It's kind of militant looking. Sorry, I have a lot of sun going on here, but I like the uh, the style here. It's just uh, it's just cool. I like. I just really like the oversized wheels as well. So hopefully, as you're dragging that through a trail or rough terrain or something, you know, I'll be able to move easily. So, of course, I'll give you some feedback maybe once I'm done my my camping trip to tell you how it went. But that's pretty much it. So yeah, just wanted to uh, pass this on. I am again extremely excited. Like like I said, there's a ton of gear. I already have some video ideas. So we'll see what happens. I you know the whole point of camping is to spend time with my wife. You know, and it's nice to have the camera off. But it happens to be a great opportunity to try different gear. So we'll see. I'll try to make some some videos while I'm out there. But anyway, that's all. Hopefully you guys have an awesome day. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow with a brand new video. Take care.